Yeah, uh, Mike had a medical emergency during the game, and he's in stable condition. He's going to uh, stay overnight here in Bloomington for continued observation. Uh, Mike's a strong guy, and uh, just a uh, you know, bundle of prayers going his way. Um, and uh, yeah, I really can put things in perspective. I think Indiana did a really good job taking away the run game, um, trying to limit it as much as possible. Now, you know, Blake is, Corm is such a great back that uh, he still rushed for 125, 130 yards again. Uh, and he's just, he's just so good. Uh, and I thought we were doing a good job coming off the ball. Um, we just had to adjust uh, some of the perimeter plays in the run game. Uh, we're especially being taken away. Um, and I thought we did a good job making those adjustments. Um, other adjustments were to uh, you know, really put it in the in the JJ McCarthy's hands. You know, uh, let him throw the ball, and the receivers res really responded. Um, Ronnie Bell had a big day. Uh, I think 11 catches. Uh, Schoomaker had nine. Uh, CJ had two touchdowns and you know, a real a real fine catch. When, when the one time JJ got hit, uh, he was behind Cornelius and, and he made a good hit, which tells you what a good job the offensive line was doing in pass protection. So, you know, um, I felt uh, I felt good, uh, you know, getting off the script too. That uh, you know that produced a, um, some big plays uh, coming off the, our own two yard line, 98 yard drive uh, you know, that was off script and. Uh, that was a that was a huge huge drive and and the the throwing game really was was big in that in that portion and, and uh, yeah I love, I love the way JJ responded to I me mean, he was so cool and, and calm back there um, a couple, couple first downs with his legs and um, yeah, it was pretty much on the money I mean, eighteen of twenty eight of thirty four I think something somewhere in that range I mean that's pretty darn good and three hundred yards and. It's, it's kind of cool. Uh, I think a lot of quarterbacks have been around. Uh, you know, when they, they get that first 300-yard game, I mean, oh, I can do this now. I, I can really do this, and and that uh, that that's usually bodes well and propels them propels them onward. Um, you know, there's just times that we just weren't. I don't know what the percentage would be. Maybe three quarters of the time we were playing Michigan football and solid and and assignment. Sound and, um, and and you know, maybe more, but you know, there's some of the times things were uncharacteristic. You know, we're we're getting, we're getting penalties, um, you know, giving up cheap yardage on defense, or um, you know, the false starts and, and miscues that we had on, on offense. And um, it'll keep us humble. Uh, we'll move on with this one with. Humble Hearts uh, going into the big game against Penn State. Uh, and I also got to talk about the defense. I mean, it was pitched a shutout in the second half, and we were at halftime. We were, uh, hey, we got to have the best half of football of the season. Got to come right now. And, uh, and you get locked in. And uh, I thought our defense did a tremendous job of that. Um, totaling seven sacks, all by a different guy. Um, I think I'm right on that. Ten tackles for loss. I mean, there was. Uh, the pressure really came, and the, and the the tight coverage, you know, came along with it. And guys just understand they're good enough too. They don't have to grab. They don't have to, uh, um, you know, interfere to uh, to get the coverage. And it, um, I made some great adjustments. Coach Clink was coaching it hard, and uh, there was a lot of a lot of coaching going on. But uh, really felt like that coverage tightened, and the and the pass rush you know, started. Getting home. Um, so uh, all in all, yeah, we'll move on to uh, happy for the win and when the wheels touch down in, in Michigan, we'll get on to the big game against Penn State.